Hey everyone, Ryan here with hollypower.com and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build landing pages within ConvertKit and show you how to publish them on your WordPress website. So, here we are, this is the main ConvertKit dashboard and if you click on the forms section, you simply go down here and create form. There are two basic types that they allow you to create within ConvertKit interface. That is standard forms, the type that you might see on the bottom of a blog post or on your sidebar um, to entice people to sign up with you. Or alternatively, you can actually have an entire landing page. So that will actually be a page on your website or they can host it for you um, and using that then uh, I say it will take up the entire page as it were you can have as many of them hosted on your website as you wish and um, what we're going to look at today is having a landing page for a competition um, or you might want to have a free guide or a cheat sheet or anything like that where you're going to try and entice people to exchange their email address details for your something of value whatever that might be whatever you think would be of value to your clients so i'm going to look at a competition so here we go you've got four templates to choose from with convert kit and each of them they do allow you to change some of the elements within there you can change all the text and so on and so forth you can't they're not drag and drop editors you can't move stuff around but you do have these four to choose from which should be enough to get anyone going so here we go let's try this one i like this one and as i say it really makes it very very simple it spreads out for you you can see here what you need to put in there and you can change some of the elements in here as well um, if you so desire so i'm going to do this quickly and simply would you like to win a spa day uh, you and a friend can win a day of pampering okay and then we get to upload an image here and uh, do, 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 do. there we go there's an image it'll just upload that it will actually be bigger than that when the page is published as you'll see in a moment and then you can add some more detail Of course, you're going to want to put in here something which is relevant for your um, your business. I am going to uh, write blah, 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 blah at the moment because um, I just want something to go in there just so you can see. Oops, it doesn't like that very much, does it? It doesn't like my blahs, obviously. Um, I'm going to put some more in here, though, anyway. Here we go. Just so you can see what it looks like when it's built out with some text. Again, you can put links in here. You can insert files. You can put another image. You can play around with this as much as you like. I'm also, you'll notice this. This looks the same as a normal form in ConvertKit, which is all it is, really. A landing page is basically some information on a dedicated page slapped on top of a form okay so uh we're going to want to do this change this okay okay that'll do for now and I'm going to save that. Okay, now we also get to change around some of the options now. Okay, so it's successfully updated. We can have a quick look at it. Ta-da! Would you like to win a spa day? Here we go. And you can just see, I've put that in like that, just so you can see uh, where the information goes. You're going to want to change and play around with this to make it 
um, look a bit nicer than that. But I'm doing this against the clock just to give you an indication of what it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to go into the settings because there's a few things that you can change. We're going to need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Winner Spa Day for now. And you've got these options here. You can either embed the it onto your website directly. So if you've got your own website, you can host it. Or if you don't have your own website, then ConvertKit can host it for you and provide you with a link, which you can then share with your community. I'm going to put just the form. Now, you've also now got the options of what happens after they fill their details in. You can either show a, a message here. So we've got there, um, so we can do that. Uh, let's change that so it makes sense. Your name is now in the hat to win a spa day or two. Good luck. What you probably want to do though is actually redirect it to another page. So you can use a different page as a thank you page, which is what I would recommend that you do. Build that in your website because then you've got an opportunity to either share more information with them, direct them to a link you think might be helpful um, or anything you like really. You also at this point get to add them to a sequence and you do that by adding it down here. Now, again, I actually don't want to do that right now because that's, I'm going to say, for another video. Um, but what you would do on there is you can then have that set up so you have a sequence of emails which automatically gets sent out to the client after they sign up for your form. So you, you'll have one normally go out immediately, maybe in this instance, if it's a competition, saying, Congratulations, yeah, you know, you're successfully, your name's in the hat, you'll be in our monthly draw, we'll let you know how that goes, um, so on and so forth. Um, and that'll just give you the uh, the opportunity there. So this hasn't saved, so I'm just going to redo this. So win a spa day, um, change this as well, your name. I will just go through a couple of the other options, and then I'll show you what it looks like uh, on WordPress. So let's save that. Okay, so first here we get an opportunity of whether or not we want to make the client double opt-in. So what that means is it means at the moment with this box checked, it means that when they input their details, they will have to confirm their email before you can send them more emails. Or if you uncheck it, then that no longer is the case. I'm going to uncheck it for the purpose of this. You then also can look at changing the style of it as well. So as we know, we've got the, uh, the different options for the page. And then we can either embed the code. Um, so you choose one of these, either the raw code, the JavaScript, or WordPress to make it easy. And with WordPress, um, it works very simply. And once you've got the plugin installed on your website, it is dead easy, as you will see in a moment. Okay, so we've got that done. That's built. That's as simple as that. That's taken only a few minutes. If we now go over into... Uh, WordPress. This is a WordPress dashboard that you'll probably recognize. We simp I've already got, you'll notice here, the ConvertKit plugin installed. If you don't know how to do that, I have recorded another video, so check out other videos and you can see how that's done. But I'm just going to go in here and I'm basically, the, the, the landing page is going to replace a page on your website. So we need to add a new page first. So you go to Pages, Add New, and you'll see down at the bottom here, these options with ConvertKit, You've got form and landing page options. Hopefully, when I click this drop down box, the landing page I've just designed will be in there. Hooray, winner spa day. So we click that and <clears throat> we need to give the page a title. Save it as a draft. Now, it automatically now gives you your permalink here. So this will be your domain slash whatever you've called that, win a spa day. Personally, I'd actually edit that, maybe something like win, just so it's dead simple and it looks a bit nicer on the URL. And then if we publish that page and then view the page and we'll see what it looks like. And here it is. Here's the page that we just designed. Now, I've knocked that up in only a couple of minutes. You're going to want to make it look much nicer than this. I've literally just put that in there just so you can see um, what options are available to you. So that is how to build a, uh, a landing page within ConvertKit and upload it to your WordPress website.
You can embed the form using the other bits of code if you don't have a web WordPress website or if for some reason you don't want to use the plugin. But it really is that simple. Um, that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, do check out our other videos because I have uploaded a load more on ConvertKit. And please make sure you do subscribe to our channel too so you don't miss any future ones. I've been Ryan for hollypower.com. I hope you have a great day.